No doubt, you're just as excited about this year's Raw as I am. Like so many others, I've cleared my calendar, and I'm really looking forward to it. Hey there, it's Tim Gale, General Manager of the Game Animal Council. Now the good news is, there were so few males harvested last year, due to the Level 4 lockdown restrictions, there should be some really good quality animals out this year, which should make for some outstanding hunting. The Game Animal Council wants to encourage hunters to get out there, make the most of it, but we also want to remind people of some really important safety precautions. So before you get out there, make sure that you give your gear a thorough check over. Plan where you're going and how long you're going for. Make sure that you take a hard copy map, compass, alongside any mapping apps that you may have on your phone or your GPS. Make sure that you look at the long range weather forecast and plan your trip around that. Make sure that you tell a family member or a friend where you're going. Write it down. While you're out there, Carry a personal locator beacon, make sure that you've registered and tested it. Consider using a satellite phone or an inReach to communicate with the outside world. Now slips, trips and falls, they can happen to the best of us and one of the main causes of injuries and fatalities. So just be really deliberate in planning your route and careful in the steps that you take. Being autumn, the weather can change rapidly, you know, river levels can rise very quickly with rain so be prepared to change your plans and also be prepared to stay you know, in that hut or in your tent for an extra day. If you can't cross a river, you know, just hang tight, set up camp and wait for the conditions to clear. When it comes to firearms, treat every firearm as loaded. Identify your target beyond all doubt. This is about confirming more than just one part of the animal. This is about you know, identifying more than just shape, colour, sound, movement, or an eye looking back at you. You know, you need to identify, can I see a head? Can I see the neck? Can I see the shoulders? Can I see the legs? You know, does the animal have antlers? Does it have no antlers? You can ask yourself other questions. You know, what sex it is? What age do I think it is? What condition is that animal in? If you can identify all these things, you're taking steps to identify your target beyond your belt. One thing that I do is that I tell myself that this is a person until I can prove it otherwise. What this does, it just diffuses the situation, it makes me calm myself down, and makes me really take extra caution. If sharing a firearm, make sure that the person carrying the firearm is responsible for keeping it in the appropriate state of load. If you're not sure, just check again. This year, due to the travel restrictions, there'll be lots of hunters, trampers, and other backcountry users out there. So just make sure that we're all respecting each other's space. Wear blaze blue or blaze orange, deer don't see it, so it's not going to affect your chance of shooting that trophy class deer. Finally, and this applies from new hunters to experienced hunters, we all get excited. I understand, hunting is an exciting activity, but excitement and over eagerness can lead to mistakes. So slow down, be deliberate in your actions and calm yourself down. The reality is, is that this will not only make you save your decisions, but it'll also increase your success rate. Now hopefully again, COVID doesn't hamper our chances to get out there this raw, um, but I do just you know, ask that people do watch those alert levels. So under alert level one and two, you can go hunting. Under alert level three, there are certain restrictions that come into play. So make sure you keep yourself up to date on the COVID-19 government website. So on behalf of the Game Animal Council, I wish all New Zealand hunters a safe and successful roar. It's my favourite time of the year. It's, uh, it's a time of the year that I absolutely love um, and I've been looking forward to it. So, you know, get out there, enjoy it, and most importantly, stay safe.